To measure cervical spine lateral flexion, position the patient seated in a straight back chair. Make sure the thoracic and lumbar spines are supported. Do not allow lateral flexion of the thoracic or lumbar spines. Screen for difficulty with active range of motion by asking the patient to move the ear toward the shoulder by moving the head. Determine the end feel by applying overpressure while stabilizing the thoracic spine. Stabilize by holding the shoulder on the side of lateral flexion. Record the end feel. It is typically firm for this motion. With the cervical spine positioned at the end of passive range, align the goniometer axis with the spinous process of C7. Keep the stationary arm vertical. The moving arm should be aligned with the midline of the head. Use the occipital protuberance for reference. Read and record the goniometer measurement. In this example, the measurement is 24 degrees of right cervical lateral flexion. A tape measure may be used to measure motion in distance rather than in degrees. With the cervical spine positioned at the end of passive range, measure the distance from the mastoid process to the tip of the acromion process.